Welcome everyone, today we're going to be talking about a brand new first person shooter multiplayer game coming out next month, July 27th, that's right, mark your calendars, and that game is called Splitgate. Now Splitgate actually came out on PC sometime in 2017 and it officially launched in 2019, however the devs did mention that although the game officially launched in 2019 over on PC, it was always a soft launch and that they were constantly working to get this game out on consoles and they were still taking a lot of feedback in. Well, now the date has finally come where they have mastered this game and it's going to be getting a complete overhaul on PC and it's also coming out on all consoles, PS4, Xbox One, PS5, Xbox Series X as well. And if you played this game on the PC a while back and you weren't a huge fan, I definitely recommend you guys try it out again because as I said earlier, this game's received a huge overhaul and now is the time to be jumping on Splitgate. They even changed their logo. This was their logo before and this is their logo now. Not only is it launching on all platforms, which is something we love to see, but it's also going to be coming with crossplay and cross progression as well. The full package is here. The only thing we need is a great fun playing game, right? They can have all these good things, but if the game isn't enjoyable, then well, that sucks, doesn't it? But today we're going to be playing Splitgate on the PC. This is the older version of Splitgate. As I said earlier, they're relaunching their game. So we're going to be playing the older version and I'm going to show you guys what to expect when Splitgate launches. And let's see if this game is a fun first person shooter game. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. This menu looks awesome, by the way. As you guys can see, they already went a long way with this game. They added loads of new skins. Um, their item shop looks awesome as well. I think they had a battle pass as well in this. Now, I've never played Split Gay before. I don't know how the portals work, but this game is meant to be a little bit of Halo mixed in with Portal. Some people think a little bit of Overwatch as well. Here we are in the firing range, as you guys can see. And I was playing around earlier in the firing range. I say firing range because I'm used to Apex Legends. <laughs> This is called the Practice Arena, I believe. And um, as you guys can see, these are all the weapons you've got here. And this is the portal system. So it's quite simple, as you guys can see. If I place a portal here, I place my next one there. You go into the first portal you set, you basically come out of that one there. So as you guys can see, and you can also block your portal there. So no one can actually get in it, no enemies or anything like that. Now, something really funny is that if I, if I set a portal here and I set one here as well. So now I can see myself, right? Because if I go into this, I'm going to come out of that one. I can actually damage my own body so you can actually damage enemies through a portal because the bullets also transfer through which is something quite funny but i haven't actually gone into a game yet so let's jump into a game and let's just see what it's like there's also a ranked mode which is insane ranked takedown okay let's just go into casual because that's the only thing we can do at the moment team Five, deathmatch right four, do we have to create our three, class no two Okay, this is my first ever game, guys, so don't expect anything uh, too crazy. You're not meant to aim much in this game, similar to Halo. This is literally like Halo, by the way. If you enjoyed the Halo series, then you'll love this game. Um, but obviously, you've got the portals here as well. Remember, this is the older version of the game. The new one hasn't actually launched yet. So um, we'll have to wait and see what the new one's like. Oh, there's a sniper here. Damn, I'm going to pick that up. Oh, damn. This sniper is insane. One shot. One. Oh, no, no, I'm out of ammo. Oh, my God. Get me to safety. Double kill, though. That was good. They're getting the hang of it now. There we go. Three kills. Wait, if I set a portal here, can I set another one over here? I'll go through that. Look at that. Look at these plays. I just flanked all these guys. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I'm completely out. Where can I pick up ammo? Does anyone know? I don't know where to pick up ammo, guys. Maybe down here somewhere. I am out of ammo right now. This is not good. Okay, I've got to pick up this gun. Nice. Oh, there's another one there. Nice. Oh, this gun feels really good, this assault rifle. They're adding so many maps into the new version of this game. It's basically going to be like a new game completely. But um, so far, the older build of this game is really fun. I'm not sure why it didn't blow up. Maybe it's too advanced for the casual players. I'm not too sure, to be honest. But I just hope this game, you know, has a chance. Because one thing that annoys me is that we're so settled with our current games. It's really hard for games to do well nowadays. So I hope... When this game hits consoles, you know, the console audience are going to show it that love it deserves. Oh, this game feels good. The hit scan, everything feels good about this game. I'm not sure if these, like, plays aren't good, but I'm not doing bad. I'm not doing bad, bearing in mind it's my first game. Look at that. Yeah, these portals, they're good, but you need to get used to them. You need to know how to use them to take advantage of them. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that was my fault. Oh, this gun is good. Game 
Let's go. Is that Was that the game? That was so fast. Oh, look at this. You can actually vote maps as well. I'm liking this game more and more, to be honest. You can vote for a random map. But I'm not going to lie with you guys. I'm going to re-reel. I didn't feel like the game was that good. So I'll be honest with you guys. But so far, I've been liking it. I feel like I'm going to get caught out in the open here. Oh my god, wow. I mean, are shots like them normal or am I just cracked? I don't know, one or the other. Oh my god, I'm literally right behind them. Oh my god. <laughs> no, 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 I need to reload. I need to reload. Oh, my teammate just literally saved my life right there. Oh, let's go. You can see them on the mini-map as well. Ready to reload. Oh, this guy, damn. We've seen other games, like first-person shooter games, that have launched and they failed really badly. So games like Hyperscape, because of the high skill ceiling. I don't think this game has got as high of a skill ceiling as Hyperscape. I feel like casual players can have fun, similar to Halo. But the portal thing is quite interesting, because could the portal addition put people off this game? I hope not, because it's a good addition, but... Casual players like to have a good time, and if they feel like a game's too hard, they just won't play it. I shouldn't really be aiming in with this thing. Uh, one thing I didn't mention as well is that there's actually an open beta. The open beta starts on July 1st, I believe, on console, so be sure to give this game a go. The full launch is on the 27th of July, but the beta starts on the 1st. It's an open beta. I don't think you need to code or anything. Oh, this game feels good. This game feels really good. Can I get up here? No. Let's go. Oh, they've all spawned here. King Let's go. Popping off. They literally all just spawned there. How lucky was that? The graphics are amazing as well. Kill. Victory again. Victory. Wow, this game is surprising me, honestly. I wasn't expecting to have a lot of fun of this game. I'm confused why this game didn't do well in the first place. Um, as I said, if you've played this game already and you know the reason why, be sure to let me know. So my first impressions after playing this game for quite a few hours, I actually really like it. I didn't think I would get sucked into a game this much. And I'm confused on why this game didn't blow up in the first place. It literally combines Halo with portal it does feel a little bit like overwatch as well and i like the fact that you don't necessarily have to be aiming in and it's more of a hip fire fps game similar to valorant as well the movement feels insane very fast but not over the top and especially because halo infinite isn't launching on the playstation 4 i feel like this is a very good alternative to be playing if you're a playstation player but nonetheless i'm gonna wrap this video up here let me know if you're excited for split gate down below in the comment section and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any split gate gameplay and also other videos on the channel but nonetheless thank you all for watching this video enjoy the rest of your day and as always i'll catch all of you guys out in another brand new video take care